The future is completely unpredictable because of the latest technology. In this video, we will look at some of the current jobs that will drastically change in the upcoming decade and years to come. It might be worth changing your profession if you're currently in that industry. So in this video, we are going to go over the 15 jobs that will disappear in the next 20 years due to AI. Number 15. Construction workers. On Earth, things often happen through hands and back. A rough estimate says that there are about 200 million people working construction and building around the world. With expanded machines, software developers are having more tools to boost productivity. We can see that construction workers will adapt and follow the same path that farmers did in the past. As technology progresses, we can see that construction workers will follow the same path as those who used to work in farming in the past. Unless you're the owner of the enterprise or one of the specialized employees who are further down the line of automation, the future doesn't seem like a welcoming place for you. If you're not directly affected by automation, the future for you doesn't look very bright. Number 14. Stock Traders. There is no thought of days when Jordan Belfort and Gordon Gecko were around. A report made by Bloomberg found that only 10% of stocks were bonds. Every day, millions of trades are made worldwide by people and organizations. The stock market is one of the places where funds are bought, sold, and traded. The stock market is one of those places, and the people behind the biggest funds in the world have deep enough pockets to capitalize on it. Want to be freaked out? Okay. Let's say you want to buy a particular stock, you go to your favorite trading platform, or secured portfolio management dashboard, you fill in the info with how much you want to buy at said trading price and hit buy. In the time it takes for that signal to reach the servers and approve the order, the bots have already realized you're going to purchase that stock, they buy it for themselves, trade it between themselves and then sell it to you at a noticeably bigger price. Number 13. Accountant and tax preparers. Perhaps we have learned that repetitive and uninteresting jobs will become automated in some ways in the future. What is the function of an accountant? You should go through your data and organize it. This is the most popular algorithm of all time. An average American pays $60,000 annually to an accountant and there are about 1.3 million registered accountants and auditors in the country. As the purchase of AI only costs $500,000 to create, it will pay for itself extremely fast. That's why computer scientists are in the hunt of physicians, financial analysts and engineers. Number 12. Telemarketer. Have you noticed that there are already fewer and fewer telemarketers? Their entire industry has been taken over by targeted ads all around the internet and on all your devices, specially constructed based on all the information the tech giants have gathered from your use on their platforms. Their entire industry has become controlled by advertisements through computer code. Facebook generates all its profit by collecting personal information about each and every of its users. We use similar data to find people who value the videos that we post. We ourselves use that type of data to get our videos in front of people that we believe will find them valuable. The irony is, even before this video you're watching right now, there was probably an AD promoting something you more or less are interested in. Number 11. Fast food workers. Remember those that put in $15 an hour in McDonald's? When then, automation kicks in. Those who are protesting low wages for unskilled jobs will be the first affected if this increase in the wage for unskilled workers does occur. Fast food jobs are probably the easiest to automate out of this list and to be honest it would have happened anyway, but they didn't do it so soon because they didn't have any incentives to mingle with something that's working fine right now. But now, with all the protests the government might actually give in and that's when the wave of automation takes over. Number 10. Military pilots and soldiers. The innovation in the defense industry is paramount. This is the first one to use electronic voting equipment. If wars were based on the number of armed combatants, today we know that it is a technology-based battle. These weapons were already outdated when World War I ended in 1918. 
You no longer see people holding bayonets and riding horses into battle, because that would be inefficient. Drones can hit a target more accurate than any human could without endangering the life of the pilot who's sitting comfortably in a chair on the other side of the world. But we still need humans like special ops. Number 9. Bank tellers. In this way, we are trying to save money and avoid unnecessary spending. Otherwise, we check out balance on our smartphones, even the people on our payroll get their money delivered to their accounts automatically, without the need for us to manually and physically fill in a form with their details. If you want to grab cash, you just use an ATM. If you want to get money, you can use an ATM machine. If you wish to open a bank account or invest your money, you can most likely do it online and through Skype. Number 8. Waitressing and bartending. A certain amount of social interaction is desirable, but not necessarily compulsory. It is pleasant to sit down, enjoy a beverage, and then leave. All of which can be easily replaced by a careful document process and an iPad. More and more restaurants are jumping in on this trend all around the world. We've even mentioned some in our previous videos about cool restaurants around the world you should try and we made that video a year ago. Number 7. Dispatchers. I know you're probably thinking of the days when someone had to manually connect you to a different line in order to talk to someone, but an astonishingly high number of people are still working as dispatchers today. The role of the dispatcher is to coordinate the field operators so things run smoothly for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a firefighter dispatcher, working with planes, with the police or ambulances, we already have technology that is massively outperforming you at your job and we're now figuring out just the final touches on what is the best way to deploy the technology. Number 6. Industrial workers. When the industrial revolution hit, all the people working the fields moved to work in factories handcrafting the machines that would make our lives easier. In the process, and with the advancement in technology, these same people were put in charge of building machines that build other machines that would eliminate the need for humans. A fun thing to do is to compare the way cars were built less than a hundred years ago in the factories of Volkswagen and how they are built today. Number 5. Travel Agents. Have you ever been to a travel agency to book a flight? The likes of Skyscanner took over the flight tickets industry, Booking.com over the hotel booking industry and Airbnb is disrupting the hotel business as a whole. There is no need for a third person to book the flight or hotel room for us, we can do it ourselves, or better yet, you can tell Siri to book it for you. Number 4. Cashiers. Those employees are going to be terminated much sooner than anticipated. Self-checkout machines are becoming increasingly mainstream in retail places. Nevertheless, self-checkout machines are increasingly becoming a mainstream way of payment. Amazon paid close to US$14 billion United States dollars for Whole Foods. The same Amazon is running pilot tests with what they call Amazon Go, a corner store with zero humans involved, where you just walk in, get what you need and walk out, with everything you bought being automatically deducted from your credit card. Number 3. Printing and publishing the newspaper is not doing well, traditional media is dying and the internet is consuming everything. You no longer get your news from the papers, you get them via Twitter or live streams as they are happening. All traditional magazines are fighting for their lives not to survive one versus the other, but to survive as a whole. All magazines are struggling in order to survive amidst competition by being distinctive. Information is free and the motor is keeping the publishing going. For example New York Times News. Number 2. Farmers, Agriculturalists. Farming was huge when it came to employment numbers back in the day. This has changed dramatically. You might still see farming as a human labor intensive in the undeveloped parts of the world, but on a macro level, this has already been automated and very few specially trained individuals that operate heavy machinery from the comforts of the office via wireless connections. In the past, tilling of land, harvesting, transportation, and sales of one's produce was mostly done by physical labor. Now we measure things with drones or satellite imagery, the soil is already treated against weeds or the seeds are weed resistant to begin with. Number 1. Drivers. 
Let me put it this way, if your job consists in driving any type of machinery, automobile or vehicle, you're gonna be out of a job soon. Taxi drivers, bus drivers, truck drivers, Uber drivers and delivery drivers are all on the verge of complete automation. In the US alone there are 15.5 million trucks and 2 million tractor trailers on the road, with the trucking industry employing 14 million people out of which 10 million are drivers. These are the people who are going to be pushed out first, because a self-driving truck doesn't need to stop for rest, is 24-7 attentive to the road and we already have the technology. With that being said here we come to the end of our video. So don't forget to hit the bell icon. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Thanks for watching.